Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're building the first island for Russo's new game. And uh, the lobby's done, so that's good. The first island's theme is robotic. So I better get a layout done real quick. Let me go ask him what he would like on the island. All right, looks like we have a jump shop, two eggs, a rebirth shop, a crafting section, and a rainbow machine. So let me kind of uh, get some sort of layout done for this and see how it looks. All right, guys, so I'm thinking layout wise, it's going to look like this. Of course, we still need to make all the props and everything like that. But we have our jump shop here, our rebirth shop, crafting over here, and our rainbow machine, which I will be making 3D models for like the things that need, of course. These are just the circles to open them. And then, of course, our two eggs. The main comments I got on last video was put uh, decals or something on the eggs so they look a little cooler. And uh, I think that's a great idea. So let's go ahead and throw some on here, just like this. And then, of course, we need to edit these a little bit so they're a little more visible. We'll go something like this. And then I think maybe three and three. Just gonna make them look a little cooler. You can see some tiling, but uh, I don't know if that's like a bad thing considering they're robotic eggs. So for now, we'll keep them like this. So I guess first things first, I'm going to need to build a, uh, I don't even know. These should probably be switched because the rebirth shop is going to have an actual building and uh, I don't want it to be like right next to the eggs, I feel. So something like that. Let's move crafting up a little bit as well, maybe right here and the rainbow machine can be dropped back a little bit over to here so first things first i think i want to try to build like the top half of a robot just as like a good decoration all right so first time ever making a robot i guess we'll start out with a cube because that makes sense and uh think i think i'm gonna go ahead and like round it just a little bit so let's add a loop here and a loop here grab all of those and we don't want to scale on the uh actually Let's scale on all of them. Just something like that. So it's like sort of rounded. Let's shade smooth and auto smooth, of course. Gets rid of the center lines, which is always nice. And then another thing I want to do, let's grab the outsides of all of this. And I know that there's that alt trick where you hold alt and click the line, but that wasn't working. That's why I'm selecting all of them, just so everybody knows. Uh, but now I'm going to bevel to give it just a bit more roundness. I think that looks pretty cool. And I think I may squish it a little bit. Something like this for the robot head. And then these can also be squished probably more along these lines. Uh, maybe not. I want to go back on that one. Like part of me wants perfect square. Part of me wants squished. So I'll keep perfect square for now. Now let's see. I'm just going to duplicate this and move it down. Scale it up a little bit. And this will be the robot body, okay? I think I'm going to cut it off halfway though because I don't need, <laughs> I don't need all of this. It's not going to be a full robot. He's going to be kind of sticking out of the ground. I'm going to inset this as sort of a, a TV screen or something. We're going to bevel the inside here as well. But just these lines, we don't need all the uh, interface. So we're going to bevel those, something like that. And then, of course, we need uh, some sort of a neck attaching this. So we're going to do Shift D, scale this down and extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale. You know, low poly stuff. All right, this is looking not too bad. Let's scale the head down a little bit more. Drag it down some. So something like this. I do think the body could be wider. So we're going to do S and Y uh, without selecting these top two faces. Because, you know, we don't need those. So let's do something sort of like that. And then I even think I can cut off the bottom of this here. So let's just grab all of these. X, delete faces, and then we'll go to our line select, grab all of this, and just press F to fill it in. Oh yeah, definitely getting some sort of a robot shape here. I also should have mirrored, not gonna lie. It might not be too late, so I'm gonna try. I'm just so bad with the mirror modifier, dudes. So X, delete face, uh, <laughs> let's delete this bottom face as well. All right, so we've added the modifier on the Y axis. Looks good to me. And now we can just edit one side and it will affect both. For this, let's go ahead and make some cool robot arms. I'll do shift D, scale this in. And then we're probably gonna wanna go more square-like. So S and we're gonna bring these up a little bit. Out, out again, scale them down. Maybe drag them back a little bit. Yeah, I think this will work sick. And then I just wanna do like a, a zigzag thing. 
All right, guys, so this is kind of working, I guess, but also not. <laughs> so, oh, wait, let me go, uh, something like this. We could probably scale those back a little bit, so we'll go about here, and then we're gonna grab these and extrude those as well. Awesome. And now we're gonna add some bevels just to make things look a little softer here. So we'll go one here. We're gonna take this line, switch this to our local mode, which awesome didn't do anything it's great something like that and then we should grab these tops as well and bevel those all right that's definitely top half of a robot man i mean it's not the best but this is also my first one i do need to fix up these arms a little bit all right guys i'm introducing uh elliot yes elliot the robot it makes sense to me let me go ahead and throw a texture on him make him look clean and get him into the game all right, guys, step one, AKA the robot is done. As you can see, we have the little uh, cell shading option as well, just in case we wanna have that in the game. I imagine we will. Up next, or let's go ahead and place those. Boom, two robots, guys, a big one and a little one right when you come in through the portal. Boom, up next, we need to build the rainbow machine and some sort of reusable rebirth shop that we can change the props on. I feel like that is cool, I think. And for crafting, yeah, I have no idea what's going over there. All right, my dudes, so we have our rainbow machine right here in the game. I think it actually looks a lot better in Roblox than it did in Blender. This island is definitely starting to come along. Up next, we have our crafting, uh, crafting table thing. It looks pretty sick. Hold on, it'll look better in just a second. So I didn't really have like many ideas for like a crafting table type thing. So I made this really, oh, this is the rebirth. I gotta go, it goes over here. It's definitely uh, unique. You know, I kind of like it better white. Uh, we're gonna keep it like this for now or maybe like a, a light blue. No, I think I like white for now, guys. We're gonna keep it like that for now and uh, we might change it per island. All I have left to do is build a rebirth shop and then make sure this island feels like it's filled in well. All right, guys, this is looking pretty sick. It looks filled in nice and good. Here's the rebirth shop, the crafting place, the rainbow machine, the two eggs, and of course the jump spot as well. There is a very faint particle. So when you're kind of walking around, you'll notice there is a nice particle on the ground. I think it's super sick for the robot zone and the rest of them are honestly pretty copy and paste, make a couple new assets and change the colors of everything. So I don't know if it's overly worth a video for each island, but this is turning out very awesome. I think that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day, later.